Okay, so today we're going to go over the autopilot e-cards uh, for New Panda. Uh, and uh, to get started with that, by the way, the social autopilot uh, stuff is covered in a separate video. Okay, this is just for the e-cards. All right, so to get started, you're going to hover over your messages and you're going to choose autopilot settings. My menu is different because I'm an administrator here, so I have some actual sub subcategories, but you're just going to choose autopilot settings, okay? That's going to take you to this page, which is your autopilot events page and here you're going to see a list of the um, the events that are um, the email events available to you okay if you have you'll notice the holidays type messages here and down here contact based events those are for if you uh if you have um like a birth date on file for a contact or a home anniversary for real estate edition or some other milestone anniversary date for non-real estate edition users you can also activate those okay so to activate or inactivate an event is very simple um, just click the checkbox if you want it activated. Unclick the checkbox if you want it inactivated. Very, very simple, okay? Uh, and um, you will see the, the next auto create dates, okay? For example, the Thanksgiving uh, e-card is going to be created on November 6th. We create them about two weeks in advance. And the reason that we do that instead of all at once at the beginning of the year is uh, because we've got users that have 5,000, 10,000, 20,000, um, even 50,000 contacts in their database and um, it becomes very, very difficult to find uh, particular messages when you are looking for them if they've all been created uh, 11 months ago and they're pages and pages and pages back in your in your list because your, your messages are going to display in, in the order in which they're going to be sent, okay? So, um, so it's just, it's uh, it's quicker and easier this way. Okay, so once a message has been created, you can edit it either through that little edit button right here, or you can go back up to your messages and click your messages here and find the message in your list and edit it there. I'll cover that in just a minute for you. Okay, the next thing I want to cover with you is the delivery date. The delivery date is the delivery start date for the event, okay? Uh, now the uh, Halloween um, event, for example, is going to start on... October 28th. This, um, we're going to start sending the messages out on October 28th. It can take up to 72 hours for all of your messages to get delivered. Why is that? Well, number one, because we have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of customers. And so it takes, you know, we've got a lot of messages to send. But number two, and most importantly is, because we have enough servers actually to just blast them all out. But what happens is when you uh, when we send out these messages to AOL and Gmail and Hotmail and Yahoo and Comcast and corporate email accounts, right? And those um, email servers all of a sudden get 8,000 messages, right? Uh, that all are coming from the same group of IP addresses, that all the, all the messages look, you know, basically the same. They have very similar content. They might even all be from you. Uh, what happens is if you just blast that server with them, they go, whoa, that's very impolite. That's very rude. It's very spammy. And they might uh, block the messages. So what is done now in the email community by New Panda and any other um, email service, third-party email service that you may use has to do this as well. We, we call it throttling. And what it means is we, we spread those messages out. We cannot send within a minute, within a, uh, an hour, within a week. Um, there's, a, there's a threshold of the number of messages that each server is going to accept. And so if you just try and blast them all at once, they, they, won't, they won't take them. Uh, they're, they're just going to say, nope, you can't you can't send anymore. Um, so uh, we very uh, gently and politely um, sprinkle the servers with incoming messages and they say, oh, this person is very, very good at sending emails and they know exactly how to do it. And I'm gonna send this to the inbox instead of the spam folder or instead of blocking the message altogether. So we, we're doing it to make sure your messages actually do get delivered, okay? So let's look at editing. Again, you can edit through the edit button right here if the message has been created. Or again, you can just go to your messages list and you can find the message in your list and you can click the edit button here. Now, uh, before we actually go through this, I will tell you when the message begins going, the scheduled date, right? October for the Halloween, October 28th. Uh, let's say it's October 28th and it's 8.30 in the morning and you come in and you say, oh, I wonder if my Halloween message went out yet. And you come here and you see the email status says processing, right? Um, you can get your, your, you'll see the status here when it is processing. This little status button will actually show you the real time 
uh, progress of the message, how many have been sent, how many have been received, how many have been opened, right? Um, but if you see here that it says processing, and you get in here and start trying to edit and maybe trying to push yours through quicker uh, and hit that send button again, that can cause fatal errors on our email server. If that message is already processing, now it's, now it's saying, oh, wait a minute, this person is trying to change this message and it will send, um, uh, it can send fatal error messages and cause that message to fail completely and not get sent. So remember when your status says, processing you do not want to edit uh, or try to try to push that message out okay at any rate so let's pretend like that message has been created and now we want to take a look at it um, which you certainly can do and as you know um, the new panda uh, messages are very flexible you are able to switch out images if you want to these are by the way the editing features are covered in separate videos so I'm not going to go uh, into too too much detail here but you can you know, you can edit your text. You can switch out the picture if you wanted to. You could even change the template if you wanted to, okay? I do want to caution you, any of these changes that you make to your autopilot, just like any other message, any changes that you do are at your own risk. So make sure that you take advantage of the preview feature, that you look at your message before it goes out, that it looks the way that you want it to, it behaves the way that you want it to. Make sure that you send yourself an email preview, right? So that you can um, receive an actual like sample in your in your email inbox. Open it up. Make sure it looks good. It acts just the way that you want it to act before it goes out to your contacts. So you're not embarrassed uh, or sad or mad um, that something didn't work the way that you thought it should. Okay. So um, that is the uh, the editing um, copy page, right? So you also have the ability here to change. Um, I don't know why you'd want to change the message name here, but you actually could. You're the only one that sees this, by the way, besides us. You could change your email subject line, your email from name or from or reply to email addresses. Um, most importantly, you can change the recipients. By default, your autopilot e-cards go to all contacts in your list with a valid email address, with the exception of Coldwell Banker, Colorado. Colorado Homes users, your uh, autopilot and AVP messages always by default go to your primary sphere group. Everyone else, it goes to everyone, okay? Uh, now, I have created a group that I just call autopilots, and that is because I have a lot of realtors, a lot of business associates in my contact database that, uh, that don't want to get um, 600 happy Halloween emails for me and everybody else that they know that's in the real estate industry every time. So I don't send my autopilots to those people because I don't want them to unsubscribe when I have a really important message, right, that I want uh, to send to them, okay? So always uh, consider that as an option. You can create an autopilot group or send it to some other group or groups that you have instead of to everyone if you want, all right? You can even, if you want to, uh, change the send time and date if you wanted to, okay? Um, and again, keeping in mind um, that you do need to, and especially um, depending on how many contacts that this message is going to go to, you don't want to wait until the very last minute. So, for example, if um, I, I wouldn't want to send this out at 3 o'clock on um, October 31st because it, it's a good possibility that some of your contacts wouldn't get it until November 1st or even 2nd, okay, because of that throttling that we have to do, okay? So that is a, uh, a quick look at your autopilot e-card feature.